Buying silver and gold is super easy. You just send your money off to a dealer and they send you shiny things. But getting that money out again can sometimes be a little bit tricky. And I've got one question, or well, two questions for you actually. Could you sell all of this gold and silver in less than an hour for a really great price? And could you sell over £200,000 worth of gold and silver in three months without going to a dealer? Well, I can, I have, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how and why I think that is such an important thing for not only myself, but others to learn from. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here, and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for another Precious Metal Ramble. Now, it's a bit of an impromptu ramble, as the background is not our normal table, because there's too much bloody stuff on my table right now, I can't take the tablecloth off. Most of that stuff is just packaging and boxes out of the frame of camera, but through the magic of selective framing, you can see all of the best bits, the beautiful gold and silver that we've got here on the table. And it's all stuff that I have just sold within an hour. Now, for those that don't know, or perhaps those silly conspiracy theorist trolls out there, this is not my silver. I'm not selling my silver. I'm not exiting from silver as an investment. I love silver, and if I could buy all of this beautiful silver myself, then I would. But instead, we are helping people who want to get slightly better prices for their silver than going to a dealer with the Backyard Bullion Buyers Club. And let me tell you, it's bloody liquid. It really is. We sold all of this within an hour. And it was not a problem, it was not a struggle. So it definitely got me thinking about some of the um, questions that I asked, I guess, myself and others about being your own bank in my last video last Sunday, all about the potential to get cash out, maybe using precious metals as an alternative. Now, I think the main thing that I wanna ask you in the camera right now is, if you were in this position and you had all of this silver on the table in your stack and you needed suddenly to get the cash, could you get that cash? Now, I don't necessarily mean physical banknotes out of a cash machine, but could you have the clout? Could you have the capability? Could you have the energy and enthusiasm to sell this much silver in an hour to various different sellers out there? I would think for the most part, and it's one of the reasons why the Backyard Bullion Buyer Society even exists, the answer would be no. And one of your options is to go to a bullion dealer and get probably a slight, well, definitely a worse price than what I would look to uh, help people sell for, but definitely a worse price than what you should be getting for any bits of gold or silver, quite frankly. Um, so I thought it was an interesting one to kind of have a look at and just, again, reinforce my message that selling silver isn't a bad thing. Like having a little bit of a side hustle, getting used to selling silver, getting to grips with how you sell things online, how you package things, how you deal with customers, potential customers, is a really, really beneficial thing. And in fact, it plays into directly my own strategy for how I'm going to deal with the vast majority of my silver and gold across my lifetime and its lifetime in my stack. And what I mean by that primarily is I think the best returns that you can get on gold and silver is holding it for an exceptionally long time. And then at the other end, the best way to get the best returns is to sell it yourself directly to market. If you sell it to a dealer, of course, they're gonna try and want to make their end on the other side. But if you can just bypass those dealers, you're gonna get a better price. Now this also forms part of my sort of retirement plan, my pension plan. And I've talked about precious metals as a kind of retirement um, pension pot and the, the like. And I wanna sort of delve into a bit more about what that actually means from my perspective. Now, there are various different ways that one can save for later in life in terms of pensions. And I would not recommend anybody put all of their money into any one particular thing for a pension. So if you're in a 401k, as they call it in America, or if you're in UK pension funds, then really delve down deep into what those funds are invested in and how they're invested and what they're doing. And the closer you get to retirement, the general advice is to, of course, take a less risky approach. Now, I hedge all of that with having some gold and silver, which I'm going to plan to hold for as long as I possibly can. And then when I get to the point where I go, do you know what? Pouring vast sums of Silver. I mean, for me, I'm in a luxury position where the job I do isn't really a job. It's a, it's a, it's a hobby that pays for itself and gives me an income. Um, 
But if I was in a different job, or if the, the poor old silver side of things doesn't sustain itself until I retire, then I would then look at this going, well, I don't really want to sit in front of a computer, in front of a desk, working for other people forever. I want to look to retire at some point. And that's when I look to start to sell my gold slowly over time. And if one has planned correctly and planned sensibly, you can look to actually get some of your silver and gold out and change it into that beautiful thing we all hate and love, fiat currency, to pay your bills, to live off, and you will do it easily. You will do it easily if you put the effort in. So from my perspective, my pension is not just releasing some gold and silver to have money, it also keeps me a little bit entertained doing, you know, a little bit of online retail. I'm just sort of forecasting into the future here, thinking about where I'm going to be in you know, without giving my age away, within X number of years and when I want to sort of stop working or start to slow down. Um, and I can relate that to the situation I'm in right now because I am ostensibly retired, let's be quite frank. I do something that I love. I don't go to work every day. I do what I love. Um, but there are, like this Backyard Bullion Buyers Club um, that I've got going right now, there are avenues by which that I can lighten the burden of the workload of pouring copious amounts of silver and creating beautiful YouTube videos for you all to watch and love and enjoy. And if you are enjoying it, don't forget that hit that thumbs up button. But my point here is that by finding an additional sort of hustle side income that you can get a little bit of extra pocket money in will do you dividends in that long run. And it will help when you get to that other end of the life cycle of gold and silver. Perhaps you would then become the next sort of little backyard bullion buyers club. Now, I've been completely open and transparent about my little buyer's club to anyone that sends this stuff in. So for those that are not in the know, if you're interested, then you can just drop me an email to byb at backyardbullion.com. There's all of that linked down in the description below. Um, if you are looking to perhaps join up on the newsletter, just email me. If you're looking to sell stuff, just email me. But basically, I charge one pound an ounce. And a lot of people have said I should charge way more than that because the amount of work that I do, it really does, you know, it, it, it's good fun though, I like it, but it is stressful work. Um, so one pound an ounce is what I sell. The sellers then get to choose their price based on what I would suggest is a fair price for both buyers and sellers to achieve. And we're essentially cutting out the middleman that is the dealer. A lot of people, a lot of the sort of stupid internet trolls out there will just go, Becky had billion, you're being a dealer yourself and you're ripping off the customers. Well, no, we're not because a lot of this stuff, in fact, I don't think anything on this table right now sold for less than 23.50 an ounce. Uh, maybe one or two of the 100 gram bars were 23 an ounce, but you know, 23 an ounce for these, you'll get, if you're lucky, 18 an ounce from a dealer. Now, the other end, when you're a buyer and you buy these from dealers, you'll be paying 26, 27, 28 pounds an ounce. So we're hitting that middle point where it's good for everyone. And I'm not hiding behind the fact that I get a pound an ounce for all my time, energy, and effort. And that's how we go. I think it's a really good and interesting experiment that a lot of people just ignore because they think, oh, selling silver, no. I, I actually would imagine most of these people have deep American accents rather than snobby British ones, but you get the point. They go, oh, no, we should not sell our silver. It's really very good to have it, and we should keep it forever. That wasn't my impression of an American accent, by the way, but it's the impression of somebody, perhaps, who is ignoring the potential benefits of an activity that actually will yield a whole host of dividends down the line uh, just because they perhaps don't appreciate that by selling some silver you're actually working and you're actually doing something good for your own um, own experience base and getting more knowledge about markets and how things work and also just a test of liquidity because a lot of people go overboard and really don't understand that if the poo hits the fan they might be in trouble so that's my ramble for today you know it's so liquid and it's nothing to be ultimately feared if you have overdone it with gold and silver because of its liquidity but if you put in a bit of extra work that liquidity becomes so much easier and better and will yield you more if you put in that work there's no such thing as a free lunch in this world and i think that's pretty self-evident with how much this whole bias club is working. And for those listening to the back end of the video, my normal backyard bullion ramblers, here's a little statistic for you. Since we started this initiative on like the 6th of January, something like that, I've sold over 200,000 pounds worth of other people's gold and silver. 200,000 pounds worth, like that. Now, 
if I had £200,000 worth of silver and gold and I needed to sell it immediately, that gives me a lot of confidence. It, it, certainly considering I don't have anywhere near that much, it gives me plenty of confidence that if I needed to get rid of some of the gold and silver that I have, I can, and pay those bills that might come up that are unexpected. And again, I ask the question to anybody still watching at this point, can you do that? Could you get £200,000 worth of sales in three months for your precious metals? And the context there is that if you go to a dealer, you're probably getting about 150, 160 grand. I haven't totaled up the exact numbers, but you're getting a lot less. So anyway, there's the ramble for today. Uh, if you are watching and thinking and salivating over this beautiful array of silver and you want to get some of it, um, it sold like that yesterday or today. It's really confusing being a YouTuber. So you're watching this on Wednesday. It sold on Tuesday like that. Um, sign up to our newsletter. I mean, the next time we get stuff in, it'll go just as fast. We sometimes put posts up on the community tabs as well. And uh, and yeah, it, it is very liquid. And if you are looking to sell for reasons, it can be any reasons, it doesn't matter, then just get in touch with me and we can work out all of the particulars. But goodness me, liquidity, it's definitely there. It's definitely there. And it's so interesting to think about for the future and how um, how I want to be as a stacker, collector, and ultimately maybe retailer of gold and silver. So anyway, look, that is the ramble for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, thank you. And make sure to hit that like button. To all my backyard bullion ramblers who watched to the end of the video, you are cool. And I really like that you are cool. So thank you for your uh, retained viewership, so to speak. We'll see you on the next video, which is going to be the um, Great Engravers, the Thomas Simon Petition Crown. It's arrived, and I'm very happy with it. It looks really good. So uh, we'll see you on Friday for that. Otherwise, that's it for me. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.